welcome to more vampire if I'm saying that right if I'm not putting the comment section I'll say it um we are leaving off on this part but before we get started so right now uh will probably be a little bit of a long video because I want to finish this quest up and probably do another quest but if you're watching this leave subscribe subscribe hit slice that like button and hit the notifications bell for more content and with that being said let's get right into the uh gameplay today speak with the locals good evening sir i wondered if i could ask for your help wow you look like you need a drink yes i apologize for my outfit it's been it's been a long night been there seen that don't worry, things can only get worse. They went into the bar, what's going on? Goodbye. We'll Has go with that anybody one. entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bottle, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? All right, that one didn't work. What is going on around What's here? What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Who's the Who sewer, sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone. Blame the sewer dog, eh? You make it tale. sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. Right. I'll leave you to your bottle then. So we learned about a sewer dog. Oh God, sir! You look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not. Not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is going to be another long night. Uh, I'm looking, for, I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. Who is this man? What does he look like? Well, like a gentleman, I guess. Well dressed, quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. All right, I need to meet I that need man. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, sir, uh, yes. no funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. Alright. So we're just going up. We're going to the first door, I see, which is this one. This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? <laughs> you might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire! <clears throat> Who are you? I, I mean you no harm. Say it, the vampire. Present yourself! I... I need a word. Anyone? Oh. Well, that's something I can do for you.
And who might you be? I don't know. I won't tell. You first. I'm not sure that I know anymore. Might I at least learn the reason of your presence? That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire. Like you. Seem like an expert. I'm a victim too. This is not real. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here too. I, I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I'm performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Okay. Alright, this is just... Hints, I guess. Uh, what do you know? Why talk about help me then? What is this brotherhood? Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. I'm not sure, yes. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. Track the killer. Interrogate the locals. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. What is going on? What is this place? I just want to talk. What I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Tell me, about Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, Will... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Or assistant hints he just discovered a hint and revealed a secret about the assistant or someone related to them. Most of my hint. Hello, sir. May I disturb you again? You're still ugly as sin. I'll leave you to your bottle then. I should just run as far away from this place. Can I talk to him again? Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. 
Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. As a vampire, you can force a citizen to reveal information that, thanks to a hint, you have discovered. Blueprint. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Oops. You again. What can I do for you? Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. I need, I need to, find to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What do you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong, now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Very the killer. I can bite. Nope. Guess now I gotta go back to the front door. Do I have to? No, because I already went there. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me? To this city? The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. Pick up notes. What's this? Some sort of note. Something... This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. This one's mine. I like the biting mechanic. I really do. This game's not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it would be you know, another boring game, but it's really not that boring. Probably it's like a pace here. I just like fighting people in the game.
can I? Do anything? Guess not. the gun yet. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Do any of their weapons? This place reeks of bloodshed. We've done it before. No. I had a drink outside tonight already and it did not quench my This throat. creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by scalp? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Solve the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fold. My flock needs me. Yes. Go with the good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. 
If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. At dawn we bro. just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. Were well, London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. <laughs> but when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. <laughs> and what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. And for that, you are right. Well... Then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed. Take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice. But yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Loading screens. <laughs> Just bear with me, some of these are long, some of these are short. Okay, that one's kind of a short one. Dr. 
Dr. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, I'll find a... Good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. <sighs> Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Chapter one, take me to a hospital. Please, you've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! Insult me again and I'll put an end to your misery right now. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes, that's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Blood quality. Blood quality indicates how much XP you will obtain from a particular system. The higher the system, the higher the blood quality, the more XP you get. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.